Ray Garrison, who Vin Diesel plays in the film, is a Marine who is killed. <laughs> Pretty much straight up he's killed. And the organisation that my company has, Dr Emil Harting has, uh, uh, brings in wounded, injured, dead soldiers and does what they can to, to repair them, improve them, etc. And so Vin's character is brought in and is essentially brought back to life and he is reinvigorated in a way that is, you know, seemingly impossible to, to get your head around. Uh, but is, is, uh, th there is new technology that is implanted into this man and he is now sort of superhuman, essentially. RST, Rising Spirit Technologies, is the organisation that my character, Dr Emil Harding, uh, created. And essentially it is, it is just a, a, you know, a, a housing for this, this incredible technology that he is developing. He has a number of soldiers with him that, 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 that are part of his kind of team that are all, uh, that have been wounded, injured, etc. Uh, so Aza Gonzalez plays KT, who, you know, her character has sort of experienced an injury uh, of her respiratory system. Um, so that's been replaced in her and now functions on a level that is superhuman, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's really about not accepting the fact that when a soldier is injured and wounded, that's the end of their uh, military career. It is, about, it is about sort of looking at the idea of, you know, um, reinvigorating and rebuilding these, these people. The little sort of offshoot gang of soldiers that we see through the film, um, um, uh, he sort of headed by, by KT, Aza Gonzalez's character, and, and each of them uh, has a particular injury that has been repaired. Um, so Dalton has, you know, he's lost his legs uh, through an IED and they've been replaced and now he has super superhuman powers based on what he's capable of doing with his legs. Um, and, uh, and Tibbs has lost his eyesight so he now has sort of ocular uh, transplants and now can see further than any human possibly should be able to etc. So so each of the injuries that occur in this, in this, um, oh, to anybody, is then repaired and taken to the next level, essentially. Um, and chainsaw, uh, you know, they're they're the little posse of of, um, of uh, Harding's, uh, you know, team that that work for him essentially. That because obviously when when they're there, it isn't just about repairing these soldiers and saying right off you go. There are various missions that need to be achieved as well. There are various sort of objectives and these are the team that work for him that sort of go out and do these missions as well. A replacement for blood tissue, blood cells, blood vessels, etc. So the character of Bloodshot, uh, Vin Diesel's character, all the blood has been drained out of his body and has been replaced with nanites. So they're, you know, minuscule little entities, biomechanical technology that, that function, I suppose, in the way that blood cells do, except at a an extremely rapid rate. So he can now injure himself, he could almost lose a limb and it'll repair itself instantly. So that just makes him superhuman and, and essentially the, the, the idea is to, to weaponize him, is to, is to create a, a, a sort of a super soldier that can be injured and then on the battlefield instantly repair and carry on. You have someone at the centre of the story, Vin's character, who is, who is, is a hero who's made an incredible sacrifice in a totally seemingly justifiable way in a military in military combat um, <clears throat> and he's he's been given this sort of second chance at life and without giving too much of the story away you realize that he's you know that, that he is kind of being manipulated and so I suppose I, th I think the thing that I'm always hoping people respond to is the emotional nature of a story but the great thing about this is it's housed in incredible sort of visual effects and and this sort of possibility you know these sort of ideas that, that, that this technology is a actually possible so it's a you know hopefully it's it's a bit of an eye-opening experience for an audience